all right my baby you wanted that video well here it go get your green onions and all that your greenery you want to chop all that up and then we're going to make a root and set that to the side we're doing it a little backwards today but that's all right it's going to come out the same way i got my clean crawfish heads without the eyes and my paws and over here, I got me some Louisiana crawfish. I'm going to pulse that a little bit. Don't over pulse that, okay? Then you're going to do like meatloaf. You're going to take half the green, half, not the whole thing, okay? And you're going to mix half of the parsley and the green onion in there. A little garlic. Season it the way you want. Hit it with a little breadcrumb. And hit it with a little bit egg. And then I'm going to do... I'm going to put some crab meat. Crab meat is not traditional, but... I do what the hell I want when I want. Okay, I don't always put crab meat, but today I felt like putting that crab meat, okay? So I'm gonna drop my egg in there and I'm gonna mix that. Like I said, you want like a grind meat, kinda like meatball type of thing. You're gonna shove that in them heads and you're gonna bake that on 350. Now we're gonna go outside, okay? I got my black pot and I'm gonna start with my, the rest of my onions and uh, parsley, etc., etc. Now, don't put all your green onion and your parsley in there. Put half of what you got left okay because you're gonna save the other half for the rest for later on now i got my roux i'm gonna put my roux back in there and i'm gonna stir it around now that roux people don't know you can make, make roux ahead of time and you can save that okay i put tomato tomato is optional when i was growing up anything my auntie made and she put uh she put tomato in it like that because to me just tomato just go with seafood and make it better I'm going to put a lot of water. You can put stock if you want. Everybody want to come with their fancy stock, but, you know, that's on you. I ain't never had nobody eat my food and say, you is missing a little stock. The devil is alive. My food is always flavorful and I don't use no stock. Now, while I was talking, I pulled my my um, my heads out the oven. They was, you know, you want them to be firm so they don't break up in your sauce. I got my sauce uh, reduced down and I'm going to put my seafood in there, my, my heads and my paws. And I'm going to simmer that for a little while and let all that flavor get in there. Then after a little while, I'm going to put my seafood at the last. Um, normally people just put um, some damn uh, crawfish in there if they want. But I'm going to put shrimp and crawfish because I do what I want. Then I'm going to throw in some more uh, parsley and some more green onion toward the end. And I'm going to give that a little stirring around the rows and put that over some rice and say to fini. Okay. Oh, I mean, look at that. That's good, Yes, I'm telling you. Mm. 